Okay, so here is our update on our magnet motor. Um, I thought I'd give everyone a catch up. So, a lot of um, trial error and design work. Many, many, many hours it goes into all this. Uh, first start off with something like this, it's no good, too thin. Um, something a bit more robust. Still wasn't really suited to the design. Uh, that's just a spare inner stator for the magnet array. This is the completed one. Um, no amount of headache trying to stick all those magnets on with two part epoxy because super glue after a couple of days the magnets just let go and fly off everywhere. So uh, that's our final in a stator, the magnetic array. Um, the outer stator is designed as such. You can see those slotted holes that fits over there, and that is so we can adjust the timing as need be. That will stop and start the motor. Uh, next is a variety of different stators or rotors on my about to um, complete and test each one so as you can see with the four pole the five pole six pole and a seven pole rotor uh, here we have a four pole magnetic array and a four pole stator so and of course the bearings are designed to sit in the rotor the end motor would have the bearings in the stator and the shaft going through the rotor so we can drive loads in that off it. Um, so they're designed to fit in there. And then we have to get it down so there's only like half a millimetre gap each side of our state of uh, rotor cores. So that is um, pretty much where we're at at the moment. So like I said we've got um, various rotors to try. So our rotor um, semi-permanent magnets or temporary magnets um, we're going to be using this um, key steel because it doesn't um, retain magnetism and we've also got alternating poles so it should stop this becoming magnetized um, for our um, outer stator cores We'll be using iron powder um, with two part epoxy and we'll simply print up a ring to fit inside here and then we're going to fill each state of core up with our iron powder epoxy mix and let that cure um, and this inner ring I'll simply wrap some um, tape around it and wax it so it doesn't stick so that is where we're at at the moment. On top of all these, um, these ones that I've printed already are to suit 10 by 10 millimeter. Um, and here I have 8 by 10, uh, which will require me to print up um, different ones of these, of course. And the idea is to get um, the outer and inner magnetic ray array a little closer so we'll need to redesign the outer core redesign the rotors but the inner core remains the same so it's being designed so as it's simply going to be a um, system that you bolt together not going to have to make any parts for um, kits will be coming as such where uh, I will, once we've done our initial testing, uh, I will be making up the rotors and stators where the bearings go in the inner stator. The shaft is fixed to the rotor, so like I said, we can drive loads off it. So, but um, for testing purposes, this is the easiest way to do it, uh, rather than having to push um, shafts in and out of each rotor. 
simply slide it off and slide the next rotor on for testing purposes. So that is how we're going so far. We are getting close to the end. Um, a lot of the re refining has gone into this motor. And like I said, um, hundreds of hours so far and still going. And we still have many, many hours ahead um, until we have the final product. But uh, this is the final prototype other than the, uh, like I said, the bearings will be going in the stator and the shaft will be fixed to the rotor. Okay, and uh, we've still got um, a third out of stator being printed up at the moment. Um, as you can see here, the tolerances is about one mil out and it's very hard to uh, get it exactly spot on. And this one here is spot on. It's a nice firm fit over the stator. But unfortunately, I don't know why, they've never, they've only printed like half the uh, slots in it halfway deep and didn't go all the way through. And I think that was because when I resize this I simply made up a disc and slid it underneath the um, original drawing on Tinkercad and it blocked off the holes as well which I forgot to put back in so that one that's being printed now is the updated version of this with the slots in it but with this uh, inner diameter that sits nice over there allowing this to uh, turn around here rotate around the inner stator to adjust our timing. So the timing will control RPMs um, start and stop. So that's um, the final product. Underneath this bench is four boxes full of prototyping that we printed out. Um, that has exceeded 324 prints is what is hiding in the boxes under the benches here um, and we're getting very close to the end so uh, this is going to be our 3D printed magnet motor so um, not much else to say other than that is where we're at uh, never made iron powdered cores before so uh, I may make up or print up a jig we can put it all in a press and put some weight on it to press them down. I would assume we'd want to make the um, mix of the iron powder and the two-part epoxy very, very dry, um, which will mean we'll have more iron and less epoxy. And then we can press it all down in my press. Gently. I'm only talking about plastic here, so we're not going to be putting tons on it. Maybe just a few kilos, but uh, just enough to press it nice and tight. Um, yeah, so that's about it. That's where we're at. We haven't stalled on the project. The project has been going flat out. Um, I just didn't need the distractions of the forums and um, continual messages from people I don't even know um, wanting as much information as I can bleed out to them. But, um, I have to do this my way, and this is my way. When I believe there is an important update, I will deliver it when I'm good and ready. Um, I don't like to be pressured into things. So, uh, that is where we're at. Um, over the next week, I would say, there would be a few more update videos coming. Um, we'll see how successful we were with our iron powdered cores. If not, um, I'm going to have to start cutting steel laminates and gluing them in, which I'm hoping to avoid. But uh, if it's a must, it's a must. So we'll see how my first attempt at iron powder cores turns out and um, how magnetic they actually are. All right, guys. Um, thanks for the support over this time. and. Uh, I will endeavour to keep the updates coming a bit more regularly 
but like I said it has to be at my pace so I am going as quick as I can um, and I can't do any better than that.